Throughout the two seasons that Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa has been in the NFL, he's received a lot of criticism for his size, decision-making and arm strength. While some of it was deserved, a lot of the negativity has been overblown. For newcomers Teron Armstead and Tyreek Hill, the quarterback has one skill that rivals the top passers in the league. He's as accurate and as precise as anyone I've ever seen, Armstead said during his introductory press conference on Thursday. Hill echoed a similar sentiment in his. Tua is one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the NFL, Hill said. Tunga Vailoa completed 67.8% of his pass attempts in 2021, landing him 7th in the league in completion percentage. With better blocking and more weapons, there's a chance that he continues to move up that list going forward. The NFL is full of playmakers who can really change the way that opponents prepare for a game, and during his career, wide receiver Tyreek Hill has been one of the top names on that list. New Miami Dolphins left tackle Teron Armstead said during his introductory conference that he'd put Hill's name first and shared what the goals of this offense are. Most dynamic player in the league, Armstead said. I've always been a fan of his game, just watching. Now, having him be a part of this offense, I think we're building something, something special. Him paired with Jalen Waddell, Raheem Mostert. You know, the speed and the speed of us up front on the offensive line. We're gonna try to turn these Sundays into a track meet, but a physical track meet. Let's not overshadow that all. Up front, we're gonna implement that physicality, that mentality. General Manager Chris Greer and head coach Mike McDaniel are hoping that the arrival of these two stars can help transform this offense from one that struggled to find consistency in 2021 to one that strikes fear into opponents in 2022. The Miami Dolphins have made a number of moves in recent days, including trading for wide receiver Tyreek Hill and signing left tackle Teron Armstead, which have eaten up a significant amount of their cap space. In response, the Dolphins announced Thursday that they've released offensive lineman Jesse Davis and wide receiver Alan Hearns. Hearns was released with a failed physical designation. Davis played in every game over the last two seasons, starting in every appearance but two. This past season, he was part of one of the worst offensive line units in the league, and he might have been the worst piece. With the addition of Armstead, that allows some flexibility at the tackle spot, so the Dolphins are able to move on. Hearns has been with Miami since 2019 and hasn't played since that season. He opted out of 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic and spent the entirety of the 2021 season on injured reserve. While these are names everyone's familiar with, the moves were expected, as releasing both players saves the Dolphins roughly $6.1 million in 2022.